What is up guys, t all day back for another episode of my Olympic Lyonnais career mode. This is episode 5, and as you can see on your screen, we're taking on Bastia in the Coupe de Ligue, which we of course won last season, so we definitely need to be showing that we are the most dominant team in this league, we are the dominant team in this competition, so we need to, uh, you know, um, what's the word? Uh, repeat. There we go, we need to repeat, we need to keep our belt on, our, um, on ourselves, really, so... Anyway, fifth minute, Chite is on the ball now. I think that's how you pronounce his name. It's a pretty weird name. Don't don't even know. Chite, I'm going to go with. As Playa takes it away, it goes in. Booty boost with a volley, and it finds the back of the net. Great goal. A little, little annoying that Playa couldn't keep it in control, and the uh, Bashia guy found it. But either way, great goal. Can't be too upset about that, because that was a freaking fantastic volley. As you see, Playa takes away, but it goes to him. Boudet boost off the chest and into the back of the net. So we're in the 16th minute now. Yatara finds Claymont Grenier over to Playa. Playa now on the ball. Sees men in front of him and he's just going to cut inside. Finds Yatara. Yatara passes over to Capetzi. Capetzi to Gazal. Gazal cuts inside. Sees Capetzi. His shot is unfortunately denied. He couldn't find a bit of space there. As we are in the 40th minute now as Harik is on the ball. Clears it away as we almost stole it. Grenier over to Vieto. Vieto with a nice fake shot back. Heal the heel flick. He's going to heal the heel flick again. Sees someone open. It's Capetzi. He has a bit of space. Why not take a shot? And it's in the back of the net. Freaking fantastic goal from Capetzi. And I was a little surprised he scored that, really. I mean, he doesn't have the greatest shooting attributes. But either way, I'll take it. He's 58 overall right now. And he has a potential of like 77. But I think he'll be one of those guys next year in FIFA where everyone signs. He's kind of like the one of those younger players that everyone likes to sign. Uh, so I, I think that will be next year because I think he'll be like a 63 or something like that. And that's a pretty decent overall for someone that's going to grow freaking 20 uh, 20 plus overall points. So yeah, we'll take that. As you can see, Jubal Cisse comes onto them at the start of the second half. Yatara pushing forward, takes a shot, and ooh, just, just wide, unfortunately for him. Uh, shut up, phone. Anyway, Yatara unfortunately couldn't score there. As Vieto's on the ball in the 49th minute, as he is going to do a nice fake shot backwards, and he somehow gets around one opponent. And uh, again, just the slow dribbling. Unfortunately, couldn't go into the back of the net. Phone, shut up. Is we're now in the 75th minute. As Yatara passes forward to Gonalons. Gonalons, nice fake shot back. Sees someone open. It's Vieto. His shot, unfortunately, goes off the hand of Yatara, I believe it was. I believe it was a handball. But anyway, 90th minute now. Gazal, it's our last chance. Whips it in the box. Murillo, our new signing. Could he get his hand to that? No, he could not. As it goes forward, Palmieri tries to clear, but he didn't do a great job of it. Finds Capetzi, finds Grenier, who finds Gonalons. Gonalons back to Grenier. Grenier pushing forward. He's going to cut around the defense, trying to find someone to pass to. Fake shot back, but unfortunately, Boudébouz takes it away. As we go into extra time, we're going to make a, some changes here. You can see we need to bring on our big, big guns, big boys. As Bastia probably have their full starting lineup in every game anyway. We're playing our young guns, so... We need to bring on our powerhouses. You can see Lacazette goes into the right mid position. And we're also going to put Muni Ayn into the center forward position. Speaking of Muni Ayn, just, just wait. Just just wait for this right here. See Muni Ayn coming on the pitch. As you can tell, we're going to be starting from kickoff right now. So you can see Muni Ayn now. Heel the heel flick. Forward on the ball. Men somehow being a bit aggressive. Nice um, big shot forward. He's going to take a shot from range and off the crossbar. Vieto's there. Luciano Vieto. You could tell from the title it was going to be his freaking episode. Luciano Vieto makes it 2 1, 92nd minute. And I'll take that every single day of the week. He scores on his debut in a very vital goal, too. 93rd minute. And what a freaking shot from Uni Ayn. I mean, I don't even care. Crossbar challenge all the way. Freaking great goal from that distance. Uh, not goal, great attempt from that distance. But Vieto's there to put it into the back of the net. Only chance of the extra time. 2-1 is the final result. I will take that. It was a little bit closer than I wanted it to be, but... Hey, a win's a win, so I'll take it. 2-1 is the final result as we advance in the Coupe de Ligue. Once again, it was our competition last year, our best competition last year. As we see, Gondolans wants a wage increase. Kind of seems to be happening to me a lot lately. A lot of players seem to be wanting their wage increase, which is a bit annoying, but we definitely need to offer Gondolans a new contract because he is our captain, and if he starts disrupting the club, you know, it's not going to turn out well for us, for our sake. We'll probably get sacked within the uh, Fortnite or whatever. But Gondolans, as you can see, his contract offer was accepted and a uh, player injured for the USA. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not even going to play international because 
international aspect of this game is pretty, pretty dumb, but oh well. We're taking on Socho, as you can see here, who, of course, in real life, were relegated to League 2, but, um, they're still a decent side in FIFA, in FIFA terms. They're not bad, but in real life, they are pretty, pretty bad, but either way, um, this should be a pretty, pretty bad game, as you could tell from the start. I mean, it's rainy and we're away. So that's not a great combination if you're wanting to come out with a win, especially away from home. I mean, if it's rainy and you're away, that's just a bad combination. But we're in the 14th minute. Munion sees Lacazette making a run. He's playing right mid in this game. He cuts inside, sees someone pushing forward. It's Viato, gets his head to it. And unfortunately, Pooplin makes a great save. And uh, we couldn't find the back of the net early in this game as it goes out for a corner. And uh, Vieto is going to take this one. Crosses in. Umtiti's there. Get his head to it. And unfortunately, goes just wide and over the bar and couldn't find the back of the net. Still, great effort by him as Kamara has a corner for Socho here. Banana couldn't get his head to that one. And what a freaking attempt there. Saved well by Areola. But we're in the 83rd minute now. A very, very boring game. As Shachiri pushes forward. That is how it's pronounced. Shachiri to the guy that commented in my last video. Freaking douchebag. Anyway, 84th minute now. Vieto pushes forward. And it's cleared away, unfortunately. But it's headed forward by Shachiri. Vieto somehow not offside. Tucks it into the back of the net. He's the hero once again. Luciano Vieto. Just chant Luciano all you want. Because it's 1-0 for Leon, Luciano Vieto scoring, getting on the scoring sheet, 86 minutes, so I will take that every single day of the week, but anyway, I'm not rude to my subscribers, uh, when I said freaking douchebag to the guy that commented, he was being a dick, you can go check out the comments in the last video if you wish, uh, I'm not, I'm not rude guys, I'm pretty polite, and it started off polite, and he kind of just went all out, so anyway, not to escalate on that, we do get a win in the league, it's two consecutive wins, and I will take that every single day of the week, because, you know, last season we were pretty off form, so we definitely need to get results like this just coming and coming and coming and coming, because uh, that's what she said. Anyway, a 39th minute now, Fofana tries to body faint in uh, inside, still gets the ball, and Benzia's shot unfortunately couldn't get tucked into the back of the net as it's cleared away, but in the 59th minute now, Benzia pushing forward, and uh, we chips it on to Shachiri, and unfortunately his little dink couldn't find the back of the net. He just tried to toe poke it in there, but it wasn't meant to be. As we're in the 69th minute now, Bude Boost going, weaving in and out of my defenders, and still puts it in the back of the net. Once again, Bude Boost seems to be my freaking, I don't know, kryptonite maybe? He's just unstoppable. I'm surprised he wasn't in Algerian's uh, World Cup squad. Maybe he was injured or something, I don't know, but... He, he should have been in there. Riyad Budebu scores as we're going to start off from kickoff here. Benzia, nice heel to heel flick forward. This is how we pretty much do every single long shot. Benzia, he'll do a freaking finesse shot from range though, but unfortunately goes just wide of the target. We're in the 87th minute now. Benzia on the ball. Sees someone forward. It's Lacazette on the right wing once again. He's going to push forward. Push outside. There's men in the box. Why not cross it in there? It's Vieto once again. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, couldn't get a side to that one. It's the Pies there. He could cross it in. Vieto's in the middle. Could it be the hero again? No, he was out-muscled there, unfortunately. As the game would end 1-0, we'd lose to Bashia this time. Uh, but, you know, can't be too upset, really. Uh, we played a great game. It was just a little bit aids at the end. I mean, our defenders kind of didn't push forward, but whatever. I'll take it. This will be the end of the episode, though, guys. So please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Tbray all day as well. I post a lot on there, actually. Um, um uh, that's basically it. I'll see you guys later, probably tomorrow for another episode of this. Have a nice rest of your day. I'm out.